Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Zach with My Exotic Bones. I don't have an intro, but what I do have is five new pickups this week that I want to show you. All right, I got them from two different people, uh, both Craigslist pickups. Uh, kind of, you know, spur of the moment, you know, people were moving. So, you know, that's, that's usually where you can find the deals at. Um, so my first pickup, I got picked up one snake. All right, and for my second pickup, obviously I got four. Uh, as a little uh, sneak peek or a little hint for the future, two of them aren't ball pythons. All right, but we'll get into that later. All right, my first pickup. Now I don't know what genes she is, unfortunately. Oop, I'm gonna trip here. Unfortunately, uh, they just bought her as a blue-eyed leucistic, but she's gorgeous. But as you can see, she's doing a little upside down thing right now, right? So. The lady I got her from, she has two larger snakes, and she said that usually the way that she can warm up people to, to them is to, you know, bring out the white snake. You know, that getting a white snake that's smaller, we usually, people hold her for a little bit, and like, oh, you know, she's not that bad, or snakes aren't that bad, you know, but then they see a corkscrew like this a little bit, and then they're like, oh, you know, what's she doing? And that's it, not exactly what she was wanting. So I don't know if she was incubated incorrectly, you know, or maybe she's got some spider in her or something. Uh, but we'll just have to prove her out. Right now she's about 950 grams, so by the end of the year, she, you know, she should be good to go. Uh, but this was my first pickup, you know, beautiful. Uh, she doesn't have a name yet. What I do plan on doing is uh, kind of snatching Chris Hardwick's thing and uh, having viewers name some of the snakes, you know. Because these guys are part of the family, and I want to get you guys involved with the family. You know, I want to get your guys' names on some of these ball pythons and the uh, other ones. All right, so the next pickup I'm going to show you is a male. And he is a Enchi Orange Ghost. And yeah, I am one of those people that put the snake right up to the camera. Sorry, it's totally my thing, though. <laughs> the... There he is, and he has some, uh, I don't know if the camera's focusing on him right now. Let's see if I can get some better, uh, there we go. So I don't know if you can really see the eye color right there, but he has these beautiful dark orange, you know, tops to his eyes. And even the sides, he's got his beautiful orange on him. I don't know if the camera is displaying it properly, but he's just a, you know, a gorgeous representation of orange ghosts i won't say the highest expression but you know he, he was uh awesome looking to me all right the next one so the second ball python of the second pickup okay so this this person that i got from she was a younger lady and she had four snakes and she was moving quickly and she didn't have the financial or time to rehome them. So I had inquired Craigslist by only about her. This is a female banana weighing in at about 1,300 grams. And she doesn't look quite look it, but she's, she's got the length. You know, she's pretty healthy, but she can definitely be fed a little more. But uh, so I inquired her about this snake and ended up getting uh, some of the display cages and four snakes, all for less than what was posted for this one, you know, so you guys need a, you guys are small time breeders, you know, like me, you're just trying to start getting out and trying to get some adult females for cheaper than show prices and stuff, definitely check Craigslist, you know, this the best way to go about it. All right, so I did say that I got four snakes from the second person, and two of them are not ball pythons, okay? I had no intention of ever having anything other than ball pythons and, you know, leopard geckos for the kids. Um, but like I said, she was kind of in need. And uh, so I did some quick research and I got a Western Plains Hognose Snake and a Kenyan Sand Boa. So I'm going to start off with the Hognose Snake. All right, he's just a normal, but, you know, he's still pretty cool and he has a different feel. You know, his scales feel different than than ball pythons and, you know, other snakes that I've held so far. You know, and he's got that little curvy nose. I think that's one of the most attractive things, you know. A lot of people say they look derpy, but, you know, I, I think that's one of the most appealing parts of him. 
that their black and orange you know checkered belly goes all the way down I mean they're just they're gorgeous so he was another one of my pickups they are venomous they're rear fanged venomous so their teeth kind of point backwards in their face like this but the uh, so the equivalent of a bee sting you know and the only way to really get affected by it is if you kind of let them get on you and start munching and chewing and letting them work the venom in you and then you might you know receive some swelling or something unless if you're allergic to them then you might have you know adverse reactions all right and then on to the aneurysmic Kenyan sand boa so it's going to take me a little bit to fish him out of here and got to figure out where he is under all this substrate and try to dig him out There we go. Easy peasy. So this is my new aneurysmic Kenyan sand boa. He is a male. Unlike ball pythons, they can be sexed really easily just by looking at the tail. Here's their vent. If the camera will, you know, focus on it. It's, it's trying. It's trying. Well, take my word for it. The vent is right here. So the end of their tail is kind of long and slender, and you'd say it kind of looks like a, a witch's finger, right? Or goblin's finger or something. Well, the females are really short, and they'd probably stop about here. They'd more or less look like a nub. So they're definitely a lot easier, just like western hognose snakes, or western plains hognose snakes. You can sex them just by looking at the tail. You know, you would know probing... No popping involved. But I thought this little dude was just amazing looking. His whites pop. I don't know if the camera's picking it up quite well, but his little dirty whites are pop so bright. And those browns are just so rich. And uh, the kids just love watching them, you know, start burrowing and burrowing down when you put them back in the environment. So, he's a pretty cool pickup. A little fun fact about Kenyan Sambos is they have live birth. So instead of laying eggs and doing the incubation thing, the female gets pregnant, she lays, or not lays, she gives live birth from anywhere from 8 to 20 babies. Uh, I'm sorry, I think one just pooped. <laughs> Uh, so anywhere from 12 to 20 live babies, you know, so I mean that's that's just cool on its own So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a female and you know, just make him happy at least sometime during his lifetime You know, let him go the whole life celibate. That's just I mean, that's not necessarily terrible if that's your lifestyle But I, I think you know, I'm gonna get him a girlfriend. So All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Those are my five pickups that I got this week All right, I do have some other pickups that I haven't showed you yet, but they're gonna be in a long This is my collection video uh, when I say long, I mean probably 10 to 15 minutes because my collection is probably a little small uh, comp compared to a lot of your guys'. But uh, I, want you, I want you guys to see me grow from the corner of you know my basement, if you will, to uh, to the to a building and hopefully to a, a nice sized business in the future. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, you know I'm gonna be one of the annoying guys for the first couple videos and say that if you liked it, you know please like and subscribe. It helps me get going at least you know in the beginning. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.